My dear friends in Christ, this morning we celebrate a very beautiful feast, the Feast of All Saints. We are given to see for ourselves, as it were, this kaleidoscope of the virtues that can be practiced. It's as if God were the light, which He is, the light of the world. And the lives of the saints is like a prism which disperses that light into many different colors that we can see for even for our own enjoyment, but most especially for our edification, for our, as an example for us to follow. As we know, the calendar is full of many saints. We each have our own favorite saints. Many saints that are very well known. But there are those that are perhaps unknown, that do not have a place in the calendar. And thus today's feast, we celebrate all those holy men and women that made it to heaven. We have to consider, and I believe that this is one of the great lessons that we can take from this Feast of All Saints. We have to think to ourselves, will I one day be included in today's feast? Will this be my feast day, November 1st, the Feast of All Saints? Because it is a matter of fact that God has called every one of us. This is our vocation, to become a saint. We see in the lives of the saints every type of person. Men and women of every temperament, from every walk of life. If for table reading and St. Joseph's seminary right now, we're reading about the life of St. Gerard Magella, and he was quite the extraordinary saint. He was, some of his biographers say, more of an angel than a man. It was never witnessed by anyone that he committed even a venial sin. His life was so perfect, his life was so full of miracles, astounding things. And there are saints very much like St. Gerard who it was God's pleasure to do incredible things through them. But we have to take a look at another saint or a group of saints that were very, very dear to our Lord. He chose them specifically these are the apostles. These simple, humble fishermen of Galilee. They were so backward sometimes. They were so weak sometimes. St. Peter, we know how he denied our Lord three times. Yet these were his apostles, some of the greatest saints, the pillars of the church. And we can find examples like the apostles throughout all of history, where God has chosen the weak and the foolish to confound the proud. And this is an encouraging thought. When the bishop gives a retreat for the religious or for clerics, when they're about to advance to the next step, canonically or in the spiritual life. Something that he likes to say, it comes up fairly often. He says, we are bottom of the barrel religious. That God has, as it were, scraped the very bottom of the barrel, the dregs, and somehow he came up with us. Nevertheless, he did come up with us. We ought to think of ourselves in this light, with humility, we, with 
with even a certain amount of confusion, we, we wonder how it is that God chose us out of the seven billion people in this world. How is it that God gave the true faith to us? How is it that we have the privilege to approach him in the tabernacle, to approach him at the communion rail? Nevertheless, he did. He chose us. So will we take advantage of this call? Will we do as the saints throughout all of history have done? Overcome themselves. Take advantage of these graces that God has given us. There is a slogan of a company. Unfortunately, the company is, is a very liberal, bad company. But the slogan for Nike Sports Apparel says, just do it. And this is actually a pretty powerful saying. How many of us have started a new year with a new year's resolution? Something to improve our lives. And so often we find that there's really no secret to success. The only secret is just doing it. It would probably be even better to quote St. Thomas Aquinas, he was asked on his deathbed, how do, you, how do you become a saint? What is the secret? He gave two tiny little words. Will it? Make it happen. That is to say, there is no secret. There's no formula, necessarily. The church teaches us how, but from within ourselves, the only answer is to will it. Make it happen. This is what the saints did. So my dear friends in Christ, let us use this feast to find courage. To become more excited about the spiritual life. We are doing something here that is amazing. If we do it right, November 1st, every year, will be our feast day. Let us go to our Blessed Mother, the Queen of all saints. Ask her for the help that we need. We know that there's a lot of fortitude, there's a lot of strength needed to just do it. But our Lord Himself said, Ask and you shall receive. My dear friends in Christ, let us become saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.